wants my money back. I wants my money back. I told you I wasn't the father of that child. Knew it oh from the beginning. Trifling. Mr. Murray, you are not the father. <laughs> Can you sit here no more? <laughs> Miss Harris. I don't want to be on the camera no more, no. Okay. What the world? I don't have to do nothing. That's only when me and him break up. Right there, bro. Uh, oh, this oh, Mr. No. Rich. Rich, it's not like that. Leaving town to visit his son has cost Mr. Matlock child support for a baby girl who might not be his. Mr. Matlock, yes, yes, while Ronald. absent, you claim the defendant, Ms. Monroe, invited her former lover to move into your family home. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Upon your return, you say you forgave her and resumed your sexual relationship. Yes, Your Honor. But then she dropped the bombshell that she was pregnant and you might not be the father exactly. of her child. So this is how the whole thing got down. When I was gone for a week, no, you're she good. moved her ex into our home. What point do you find out that she's moved another man into the house? From her. Yeah, I told you. At least I was From honest. Miss Monroe. That was honest. Gone long enough to take in another guy? Miss Monroe. So yes, I am. you? You was not honest. He's about gone baby. now. Yes. For about how long? He originally told me he'd be gone for a weekend. She's lying, Your Honor. She is telling a bold face lie, Your Honor. Anyway, she knew. She I'm knew listening she was, to her she, story. Look, Your Honor, she knew I'm she was gonna move that man in. You don't story. just move a man in within one week I'm unless you have plans to, to do that. Now. She probably was Ms. doing Monroe. it from the beginning. The plaintiff was not buying into this story at all. I would talk to her when I called her, but I don't. I don't feel like when I'm spending time with my son, I should have to drop spending no, time with my son. No, you should still have to. You should her still have to talk to me if I'm your girlfriend. You should care. About you should care. Issues, I'm not. I'm sleeping with if you would have given me a reason, then I wouldn't have block. jealousy issues. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. Judge, could you please conclude this for me? When you called him, he didn't return your he call. He would not answer my call. Okay. So at some point, he has not answered your call on several occasions. Yes. So you say to yourself, he must not be coming back. Yes. So I'm going to move somebody into the house. Yes. Sunday, Who'd you Saturday, move in? Exactly. One Sunday. of my exes. One of your exes. I'm glad we got that clear. What's up next? We talked on the phone because about, I wanted about the you. situation. I, didn't want him. I had a feeling for her. I've been knowing her since we was young, since 12, 13. So I still, I had, I felt something about her. So we worked out the whole situation. We talked about it. We worked it out. I eventually moved back in the house, picking up a sexual relationship with her again. All right. Still, the plaintiff was sure that girl was not his. She's a pretty little girl. I'm not saying she's not she pretty, is. but it's a at the same girl. time, I don't think it's my baby. Well, I don't, don't think it's my think. baby. So you don't think. Do you know for certain or are you just doubtful? Once you say you are not the father to a man, that baby ain't mine no more. I didn't hear from her. <laughs> I didn't hear from her. However, the paternity bomb dropped like this. December 31st, 08. I'm, me and her sister are oh, friends. OK. So I call her sister. Happy New Year's. What's up? First thing out of sister mouth was, what's up is you need to check, check on your daughter. I didn't even know she had a girl. Matter of fact, when the baby was born, another man was in the hospital room with her. If there was clear doubt, how come he is paying child support? How you started paying child support? Because he sent me papers with all his information to put him on child support I, so no, he could no, get no. it. It's you been, to take three, me it's been three or four years. And she didn't never want to know who the father of this child was. So let's get it done. Put me I on tried child to call support. you for Filled out the papers they wanted me to send so I can file to get you a paternity test. Okay. Yes, I did. Maybe conception can clear things up a bit. The dates that you were intimate with the defendant was the last Last week in August, and you claimed that her ex was intimate with her during the beginning yeah, weeks of August, and that's the month of conception. It could have been longer than that she was sleeping with him. You a lie. Well, the only solution is the result. In the case of Matlock versus Monroe, when it comes to five-year-old Kenya Monroe, Mr. Matlock, the wait is over. You are not. I knew it! The truth was very hard for the defendant to take in. I wants my money back. I wants my money back. I told you I wasn't the father of that child. Knew it oh from the beginning. God. Trifling. She knew that from the beginning. Otherwise, she wouldn't have said it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. That's what I need. You know, when you do look at this little girl, at least you can say that you have provided for a young child that is in a position none of us would want to be. Yes, ma'am. All right. Too many men are involved in this paternity mix, I tell you. Mr. Drumgold, you claim there is no way you are her daughter's father because you know for a fact Miss Holman was sleeping with at 
least two other men at the time of conception. And you believe either of those two men could be Alani's father, is that correct? Correct. The guy at the podium didn't want to do anything with the baby. Are you denying this baby? Yes. Mr. Drumgo, you are not in any way accepting of Alani? No, I'm not. It's been incidents that I know and two other gentlemen that I know during the time that she posted had Alani that she was dealing with. Whereas their equation was something like this. She called me one day and she said that she was pregnant and she said she was like 10 weeks and at the time I won't even in town for 10 weeks. So then she hung up with me and then she called me back within five minutes. Not days later, not weeks later. She called me back within five minutes and said the doctors made a mistake. And you thought that was too quick? Pretty much. The mommy was hiding her swindling as well. He knew I was dealing with other men because I was very honest with Robert, Mr. Drumgo, up front. I was super honest with him and I told him, like, I'm doing me, you doing you, because I know how you get down, period. When I was all in for with him, he was not wanting no parts of me. It was time to get the other baby daddy in. Did you have a sexual relationship with her, sir? Yes, Sean. Um... How did you two meet? We met at a party back in 2016. She gave me a lap dance and we ended up having sex. And how long did the sexual relationship last? It was off and on, and it's been off and on for the last four years. Oh, you're still in a sexual relationship now? Yes, ma'am. Miss Holman was fortunate to have someone like him. I was still there through the pole pregnancy. I still had love for this woman. Okay. But it wasn't until after Alani was born when I really fell in love with that child and made up my mind I was going to be there. Why would you even tell me? There ain't no possibility that it could be nobody else's. If he won't in the picture, then Yo, why I is he here? Like him. All of this truth coming out riffed everyone. She's sitting here saying that I won't dare for her. I was there for her, her whole pregnancy. We talked every day. We made plans on when, yes, how the baby, what's, what was going to occur after the baby. Once I really knew him, he was in the picture, yes. Did I um fall back a little bit? Yes, I did. So once saw him yes, rubbing her stomach. Yes, I did. And then when you reached out to him, did you ever get a response? No. What I was thinking is she found a way, like she always do, to smooth over her life. Mr. Rich walked out like this. A person that you keep calling to come over and have sex. Of course, because you got great sex. What the world? I don't have to do nothing. Really? That's only when me and him break right up. There, bro. Uh, out this no. Mr. Rich. Mr. Rich, Go back up. you came Just here to get up. an answer. I have not called him lately. I don't care, man. I'm I mean, hey, calm down. Down. My phone tells it all. Shit. Calm down. Let's not leave third men out of this. I met Mrs. Holman probably about uh, four years ago. I met her through Facebook, and we hung out, and we clicked. And then there on four, we had relations, sexual relationships, on and on. When did the sexual relationship start? I can't recall. I just know that it's a possibility that I could be the baby's father, because we were on and off. Miss Holman was being unfair to herself and the child. We got to start changing the words you hear. We got to speak love, purpose, and grace over our lives, over ourselves. If you got to look in the mirror every morning and say, I am worth it. You have to tell yourself. You have to encourage yourself. Every day, we wake up and we have to remind ourselves, you worth it. Let's end this for good. The first envelope is for Mr. Rich. Mr. Rich is not the father. The next result is for Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews, you are not the father. These results are for Mr. Drumgold. Mr. Drumgold, you are the father. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing is harder than finding out that your alleged father might not be a real father. Miss Ferguson, you've brought your mother to court today because you were recently shocked to learn that Ken Ferguson, who raised you your entire life, may not be your biological father. You have petitioned the court for a paternity test on Mr. Ferguson, whom we'll hear from in a moment. Miss Munsell was in a dreadful place and she knew it. Miss Munsell, please tell me, how did your relationship with your daughter get to this point? I have no idea. Just things that were said, things that were done. It's apparent that you feel badly about it. I see the emotion on your face. Yeah. Are there certain particular regrets that you have? Yeah. But you I understand that she has a right to know who her father is. Yes. Miss Ferguson was ready to believe her mother's words. She wouldn't talk to us. She would only talk to her guy friends and her other friends. Not even the husband. So okay. me and him met up. You she met knew up we were with my mom's husband, my stepfather. Your stepfather. Yes. Okay. We met up and we started talking and I confessed everything I knew about the past. Okay. I knew she was cheating on him. 
However, the mommy was ready to play along. I'm not perfect, and I'm not here to be degraded like this by my own child. I know. I don't want to degrade you. But why do you keep doing it? Look at Ms. what Montel, you're still doing this today. Is... Just always make people feel bad for you. Doesn't she? She just always does that. What? She's about to but do Ms. it. But Miss Munsell, no, no, don't, no, don't. no. See, this is what you do. You always walk yeah. away. You never can talk Shut to up. me. The defendant's lifestyle had ruined her daughter. I thought cheating was okay. I cheated on every person I was with until today. And the person I'm with today can't stand my mom. And she did support you. That's the only thing she's ever supported me with. All your life, you believed Mr. Ferguson was your father. All my life. We were talking for about four hours, and he told me I became quiet because it hit me with realization, like, wow, you know, I've seen her sleep with so many guys that this doesn't shock me at all. The alleged daddy also had doubts. Why do you have the doubt? When I first met her at a party, I found out after this because that's when we met. She uh, slept with four guys that night. You know this for a fact or you heard? No, it's a fact. Then uh, we were dating, moved in with each other like every other day. It could be a guy or two guys, and but I do believe that she slept with a lot of guys before she got pregnant. Why we lived together. It's fresh me to know that she cheated on me. However, Miss Munsell was not coming around to the idea of being the bad guy. I came here for you to do this. And that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it all out. When you stood there and you told me all it was is to find out about your dad. I told you I want to repair our relationship. Well, there too. is no repair and now. You won't open up. There See? is no repair. You always Stop. give up on Let us. Me yes, finish. sorry. I'm not a perfect mom. I never tried to be. You know, I did what I could do. So it was but I love you and I never once regretted having you. The only result will bring this Ferguson closure. In the case of Ferguson versus Munsell, when it comes to Alicia Ferguson, Mr. Ferguson, you are her father. <laughs> See? Great mom, huh? Ms. Munsell, before you leave the courtroom. I can't believe she's gonna give up on me like that. Children against their parents. Let's see how this goes. It was possible your dad, Mr. Jacobs, is not your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jacobs, you are the only father your children have ever known. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about the argument you and your brother overheard. He coming out the room, going to the kitchen, saying, well, those ain't my kids anyway, so I was well, doing you a favor, so... and left out the door. The stakes were high for this mother. This is the only man that I know for all my life. How many men do you know sit in a delivery room with their daughter when they having a baby? Is there something that you need to tell me? All of this was quite hard for Miss Racer. I'm getting married in January. He's supposed to walk me down this aisle. Then you gotta tell me. Because I don't know, Precious. I just don't know. Grandma said that might be my father that I look like. And I overheard at a cookout. Some of your friends talking about, don't she look like Tommy, whoever Tommy was. I never doubted the fact that he was my father because he's always been there no matter what. Things got awkward with every second. That is not my father. No, it is a no. No. Be your father. So you well. do admit that you had a sexual relationship with Mr. Farmer yes, around the time Precious was conceived, but you were not having a sexual relationship with him during the time Hector was no. conceived. No, ma'am. So potentially, he could only be Miss Razor's father. Yes. The other potential father was not ready to take any blame. We've established that you all refer to each other possibly as brother and sister like play brother. You're not related biologically. You're not real sister and brother. I didn't know he was. I didn't know he existed. He wasn't you supposed never to know knew I he existed. existed? You never knew he existed? You're right. I shouldn't have known you existed. I didn't do you know anything what? to your family. To you, it was, it was to already you. done. Judge first showed the result of Miss Racer. In the case of Razor, Hunt versus Jacobs, Hammond, as it pertains to 26-year-old Precious Razor, Mr. Farmer. Yes. You are not. Yes! Her father. Oh, oh, God! Oh! The results were too much for them to handle. In the case of Razor, Hunt versus Jacobs, Hammond, as it pertains to 33-year-old Hector Hunt, Mr. Jacobs, you are not Hector's oh. father. Oh! Let me get my kids, sir. Let me get my children. She is scandalous! However, Judge Lake was not yet done with the family. I'm not his mother. What? So this is not my real brother? Let me understand this. So wow. his mother was your cousin. And while having him, 
she passed away. So when you had us test Mr. Jacobs as potentially Mr. Hunt's father, is that because Mr. Jacobs was also intimate with your cousin? Yes. Two men in the running for this same 18 month old baby. Ms. Harris, you have been caught in a love triangle. There are two men in court today claiming to have fathered your 18 month old daughter, Anaya, your current boyfriend, the plaintiff, Mr. Murray, and the defendant, your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Donaldson. They are both in court today to prove paternity. Love triangles are prone to drama, so Judge Lake knew what she was in for. Tell me about your relationship with Mr. Donaldson. From my understanding, we was dating. But then when I got pregnant, he told me he had feelings for another girl. He told me that he didn't want to be with me. So I was basically alone during my pregnancy. He came to the hospital with his mom when I had her. So wait, you're dating Mr. Donaldson. You're in a relationship. You all a boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, we were. The plaintiff's mother had this take on the paternity at hand. Did you know about this pregnancy, ma'am? I did not find out about it until she was about five five months, maybe. You never knew your son was possibly the father of this child? When he told me about it, I accepted that he was because that's what Chastity stated, that he was the dad. So with another man stepping in, a mess started brewing. So at what point do you start having doubts that Anaya is your grandchild? The thing that really changed my mind is when my mother went to pick the baby up and saw Fred. Oh, so Mr. Murray, why do you believe you could be the biological father of this child? One day I was on Facebook and I got a message mm -hmm. from uh, Jalen and he told me that the baby could possibly be mine. But Donaldson had no recollection of the message. You sent him that message, <clears throat> Mr. Donaldson? I don't I don't recall. I'm not gonna say yes, I'm not gonna say no. I don't recall. <laughs> <clears throat> and wait, what, you just saw a message on your account. And what did you say when you got that? I said, uh, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> all of this was even confusing for the judge. Let me try to understand all this. Mr. Murray, what do you remember? She was in a relationship with Mr. Donaldson at Correct. the time, but you all ended up having a sexual encounter during that time? Yes. But you say you use protection. You say you did not. Okay, that's how we get a paternity issue. However, the result was too much for all of us. In the case of Murray versus Gerald Donaldson, Mr. Gerald Donaldson, you are not the father. Mr. Murray, you are not the father. Can you say no more? Miss <laughs> Harris. I don't want to be on the camera no more, no. <laughs>